So we'll start this again because I've just revealed the sender's address. So I've need to, <laughs> needed to turn the box around. I've just returned from Christmas. Uh, we're on the old camera. Let me tilt it up a bit. We haven't got a lapel mic or anything like that. Hello, Merry Christmas. Hope you had a good time. Uh, and I've come back to this box, which was sent by none other than uh, Mike Daly. And you can't say Mike Daly without saying Mike Daly of Lemmings fame. Uh, and inside it, I don't know what's inside it, but it's things for me, uh, which he's kindly sent. At least I hope he's kindly sent them, knowing Mike's sense of humour. He may have unkindly sent them, but uh, I've got a knife just in case. And um, also some donations that Mike sent for Mark to help Mark with his uh, situation after his house burned down. So let's open it up and see what's inside, shall we? Hopefully no bees or wasps. Okay, lots of bubble wrap, always a good sign. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the box on the floor and the camera on the table and you can see things as they come out of this big heavy box. Talk about a lack of production values. This is not how I mean 2022 uh, to, to carry on. So first of all, we've got a data set unit. Now I don't know how, Mark, uh, how um, Mike wants to divvy up these things uh, as what's for Mark, what's for me, or whether he wants us to decide for ourselves. Um, I'm sure we can figure it out. So first up, the classic Commodore 64 or VIC or whatever you want to use it with uh, data set. Is that VIC compatible? I can never remember. Is it even in there? It is, but we've got some extras. It looks like we've got some uh, cartridges in there with some Atari chips. So I think these are some kind of Atari um, cartridges without cases. Atari 1983. I wonder what's on those. We will find out. Um, CN2 1530 data set. Let me just quench my curiosity. Yeah, you can use it even with a pet. Commodore 64. Anything you want to plug it into. Um, working condition or not, I don't know, but we'll find out. It's nice that it's boxed too. I'm really curious as to what these are. I want to plug them all in and uh, find out. I'll make sure we plug them into the right thing. Uh, next in the box it is. Ah, oh, it's a sign. That's really nice. You zoom in for you. I am made up with this. It's a signed copy of Shadow of the Beast for the PC Engine uh, CD-ROM, which Mike ported. Uh, and I know it was a very arduous year long task or so when, when we interviewed him, he told us all about it. And um, wow, to have a, an actual copy signed by Mike, that's so nice, Mike. I take back everything I've ever said about you. <laughs> You're a good plate, really. <laughs> that's so nice. And it's got like gorgeous Shadow of the Beast artwork on there. Even more mysterious when you add a bunch of Japanese characters to it. I like it. Thank you, Mike. That's really nice. It's got my name on it. That is not going to Mark. <laughs> what a nice Christmas present. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mark and I will have to fight over this. I actually posted a tweet just a couple of days ago um, about this system. A tongue in cheek tweet because it's an atrocious system. But it's one every collector has to have. At least collector of uh, UK micros and consoles. It's an Amstrad GX4000. Looks like at some point it belonged to someone called Barry. So thanks, Barry. Um, it's very light, but it is in there. That, the Amstrad, oh, it's minty. It hasn't faded at all or yellowed. The old, looks like a spaceship, doesn't it? The old GX4000. Comes with the burning rubber cartridge and uh, a jury pad. And it's got the king of all connectors, scarce out on the back. Thank you, Mike. Again, I don't know if this is for me or if this is for Mark, or if we're gonna strip to the waist and fight to the death over who gets the GX4000. I think Mark would have a pretty big fight for that one. Okay, um, that out of the way. There's still a lot more to come. Now, wow. That is a hell of a gift. A, a ZX Spectrum Next. Um, 
Rev 1, because the Rev 2s aren't out yet. I know Mike is involved in the project. Uh, I actually have one of these. Um, so it's great that um, I think Mark can absolutely have this one because I know he'll love it. He's a big Spectrum fan. Um, so for us to have one each is wonderful. Um, I did back the Kickstarter, very happy to support support it. And, and every time I see um, this the box, uh, the system itself, I think that's sealed, is that sealed? No, that's opened, so we can open it up. It's all produced to such a high quality. I mean, you'd be happy if, you, happy if your Apple product came <laughs> packaged like that. Or oh, Mike's probably cursing me, he probably hates Apple. I don't know. <laughs> um, but also, uh, hopefully we can find the manual in here because there's this gorgeous manual that's a real nod to the original, there it is, the original Spectrum manual. This is the next, by the way. I'm just taking it away without showing you it. Spectrum with built-in joystick ports. You didn't get that with the original. Um, and here's the manual, which the artwork, the binding, the, um, the programming guides, Everything is just such a wonderful throwback to the original ZX Spectrum. Um, it's such a nice package. And I haven't had enough time to really give the next, uh, enough of my time and to do it justice to, to, um, to really show it on the channel yet, and I must. Um, I've backed the uh, second revision. I've got a Rev1. <clears throat> so maybe when the second revision comes, we can do a little video comparing and contrasting the differences, seeing how they've improved it. Maybe we can even have a chat to Mike or uh, Zalia over on Discord. I know he's heavily involved in it. Um, yeah. Fill your boots with that, Mark. I know you're gonna love that. Wonderful. Oh, there's so much more. There is so much more in this box. Right. Speaking of ZX Spectrums. your classic ZX Spectrum 48K. Um, I don't know if Mark's managed to recover or replace um, his Spectrums that burnt down. I've certainly got a few. Um, it's always something people ask for here in the exhibition as well, so I can never have too many spares. <clears throat> then we've got a class one laser product. Oh, it's just gonna have a CD drive in, whatever it is. Oh, yes, Sega Saturn. Another system that we haven't covered on the channel yet. And I think Mark and I need to um, team up and do a Sega Saturn uh, episode because I bought my favorite game on the Sega Saturn uh, last year. Let me go and grab it. I know the Sega Saturn has a bunch of amazing games, Nights into Dreams, things like that. But my favorite game on the system is actually uh, the port of OutRun for it, because it runs so nicely. And it's on this Sega Ages pack, which I bought uh, from a shop called Retro HQ just before Christmas, with the intention of getting around to um, doing Saturn stuff eventually. And I think my motivation is to play that game on this Saturn. Um, so if there's any problems with it, Mark and I can fix that up and make it happen. Whew, there is. Well, this will settle any arguments as to who gets what, because there's another data set. There you go, one each. This one has a uh, C64 teaching touch typing uh, cassette in there. I know Mark can work on his typing. Um, something loose down the bottom there. What's this? Squish'em. <laughs> it's an MSX cartridge called Squish'em. I've not heard of that game. Published by ASCII Corporation of Japan, 1983, Sirius. Hmm. Try that one out. Next, let's tilt the camera up a bit. I was not expecting this much stuff to be in the box. I was expecting this to be a very quick video. But my goodness, there's enough kit to keep us going for the year in here. Oh, wow. It's a Panasonic 3D head. And it's the gorgeous FZ1 um, version of it. Thank you, Mike. I have an FZ1. I know Mark will really, really appreciate this. And he knows this model very well. He's forever telling me uh, about one specific cap that dries out next to the power supply that always needs replacing. So if it hasn't been done, um, he'll get that done. It's got a nicer finish to the top than mine, actually. 
Don't tell Mark, I might swap them around. <laughs> it's got um, almost like a, a QR code camo effect on the top, and I think that's rubbed off on mine. I don't know if you can... I don't think the camera's picking that up. Maybe it is. But that, that seems to have been rubbed off on mine. Um, looks like the power supply... Let's zoom in. It looks like the power supply has been snipped. I mean, there won't be any problem getting that out unless it's moulded in there and we'll just put a new cable in. Uh, yeah, whatever, easily fixed. But that would suggest to me it's either come from a charity shop or maybe Mike just has a habit of snipping his retro. When he's done with it, he just gets the scissors out and cuts it. I don't know. Thank you, Mike. And thank you on, on Mark's behalf. This is another system. Ah, this might be to go with Squish'em. Ooh, I've not seen this model before. It's, a, it's an MSX. And it is a Panasonic brand CF2700. Um, 50 Hertz. So it's a UK model. A couple of, there's still a dust cover on one of the joystick ports there. And uh, two, two cartridge slots, which is always nice. The size of that keypad, that's, that's ridiculous. Um, Mike hasn't cut the plug off this one. I don't know the working condition of, of any of this gear, but that's half the fun of it. Uh, we've got a dust cover on the back, cassette port. This is a, a composite output rather than a, a SCART or anything like that and a cassette port and um, uh, some kind of Centronic port. I don't know if that's for a disk drive and also RF. But that is a, that is a solid machine. Really, really need to cover more MSX stuff on the channel this year. And uh, I think I've got like, two models of MSX, um, three if we include this one. And I think between us, we can do some pretty good coverage on the different styles. I've got the Yamaha MSX with the keyboard and all that MIDI stuff. Um, and uh, just sort of tell the MSX story a little bit. It's a deep, deep story to, to tell. So there'll be a, a lot of research needed. Nice. Now, it looks like the last two things uh, seem to be framed, which is a curious thing. Let's have a look. Smaller framed one. <laughs> it's a framed copy of Lemmings. It's actually in there because the, the box has slid down there. Oh, there's a bit of Velcro in there to keep it shut. There we go. A framed signed copy of Lemmings. And I know this is special, not only because Mike signed it, it says to Neil, a true believer. Mike Daly. I've seen some of the things that Mike uh, writes when he signs things. <laughs> he can be quite rude in his, uh, in his signatures. So it's nice. To, this might be a one of a kind, uh, politely signed one from Mike. No, I'm only joking. Um, that is definitely going up on the cave wall. Oh, Mike, we've got to get you down here at some point um, just to visit or to be a, a special guest and, and be a guest speaker when we have an open day or something like that. Um, I know you're at the other end of the country, which is a bit of a problem, but uh, we can... Oh, there's, a, there's, a, there's some plexi to go on top of that. Um, the uh, protective seal hasn't been taken off of it yet, so that's, that's a job for me to do, but we'll, we'll make that happen. Um, yeah, if you can get to Bristol Airport easily, I can pick you up very easily. Oh, and here's one for Mark as well. And this is a double whammy. We've got to Mark. <laughs> to Mark, get yourself in the bin, it says. Uh, after we, we did a live stream where we discussed whether lemon should go in the bin or not. And, and Mark thought it should. I disagreed. I'm on your side, Mike. Um, and then this one's uh, Lemmings 2 is just signed by Mike. So uh, what an amazing thing to have. Thank you, Mike.
Uh, I know Mark will really appreciate that. And how we divvy this up, I don't know, uh, but obviously Mark has a lot more of a collection to rebuild than I have. Let me get the camera. There we go. Yeah, Mark's obviously got a lot more uh, to rebuild after that terrible fire in it that he had than I have. So I'm, I'm erring on the side of letting him take first dibs on what he wants, unless it's got my name signed on it, of course. Um, but what an amazing load of stuff. We've got the signed posters, Sega Saturn, ZX Spectrum, MSX, 3DO, ZX Spectrum next. And uh, the Amstrad GX4000 over here. So much awesome stuff. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for dropping by and thank you so much, Mike. It's so kind of you and uh, really appreciate um, what you've sent in, what you've done and what you continue to do for the community. Um, you're amazing. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.